Welcome to another Prairie Creek Library cook time. Today we're going to be making broccoli cheese soup and this will be a gluten-free and vegetarian recipe. Okay, so we're going to begin with a head of broccoli that I have broken into florets and two cloves of garlic, which you can see here that I have already minced. And then you're going to need two quarts of basic vegetable broth, which if you're using the containers like I am, you're going to need two of those 32 ounce containers. Okay, you also need heavy cream, shredded cheese, um, salt and pepper, which we will get to later in the recipe. But to begin with, we're going to go ahead and put our broth into a large pot. As you can see, I already have mine in there. And then to that, I'm going to add the broccoli and the garlic. Okay, so I have the broccoli and the garlic in the pot with the vegetable um, broth. It says to mix that together. And then I have that on a medium heat. We're going to leave that come until it just starts to boil. Just barely you're seeing those little bubbles. And then we're going to go ahead and turn that down, cover it, and simmer it for about 15 minutes until that broccoli is tender. So for right now, we're just going to let this come to where it's just starting to boil. Okay, so you can see that my broth is starting to bubble just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that. I'm going to turn my heat down to a simmer. And I'm going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes or until the broccoli is tender. Now that our broccoli is tender, we're going to go to our next step, which is to pour in one cup of heavy cream. Okay, we're gonna mix that together. And then it says to go ahead and stir and cook that for five minutes until it is thick. Once you've cooked that for um, the five minutes, and I didn't stir mine continuously, I just went and stirred it every once in a while. So that's been the five minutes. And then the next thing you're going to do is slow, you have to take it off the heat. So you can see I moved mine to the counter. And then it says to slowly add in 16 ounces or two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Oops. Once you have your cheese melted in there, then you are going to take salt and pepper to taste. Mix that in. Okay, and then you're ready to serve. It does also tell you that you can wait until this is chilled. If you cover it and store it, the leftovers will be good in the refrigerator for up to two days. All right, enjoy.